What is up guys? It's your boy Jeff coming to you from Squaw Valley. It's a beautiful day here. Look at this. It's a light snow, a light amount of wind. It's just beautiful. And that is exactly why I'm about to leave and go down to Reno. E-skate day. I'm on the Lawrence Major. It's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna see about maybe doing a range. Try to ride as far as possible. Look at how beautiful this is though. I can't believe I'm leaving this. Cry and shame, I'll tell ya. All right, let's get moving. So the Lawrence Major really has the most range of any board I own and I wanted to see if I could go from downtown Reno all the way on these back roads through the countryside along the Sierra mountain range to Galena down into Steamboat and then back along the bike path to the airport and back into downtown Reno. This was a lofty goal as these roads are kind of up and down a lot and the surface just isn't that great. So a lot of rolling resistance. I also have to mention that there was 60 mile an hour wind gusts that almost knocked me off the board. And so I did have to stay pretty low a lot of this ride just to kind of get underneath it. Otherwise, I felt like I was just fighting the wind the entire time going out to Galena here. As I started gaining elevation up to about 5,000 feet, it did start to snow here. I was just on the edge of the storm coming from Tahoe. And this is actually quite a big climb. You can't tell with the 360 camera but this section really ate into my battery. I'm about 18 miles in and I have about 30% battery left. Now, I did do a lot of climbing into a headwind, so that's probably why I burned through a lot of batteries. The remote says I have less battery, but the board's iron heart deal says I have quite a bit. So the board says I got four bars, which should be pretty solid. One thing I was finding is that the iron heart on the board is actually quite a bit more accurate than the remote, which only has five bars to show you. Whereas with the Iron Heart, it kind of has a lot more little segments to kind of pinpoint your actual battery level. All right, at a turning point, do I take the safe way and stay on the bike path or the scenic way right underneath the bridge up that road? I don't really have a ton of battery life, so if I get stuck going under the bridge, the scenic way it could be bad. But I think I'm gonna do it anyways. And so I decided to take the indirect route up this huge climb from the bike path, which follows the freeway, which is a nice flat path all the way into Reno. 
Instead, I decided to go up the side of the mountain and through the little valley, past the reservoir, and back into Reno with only two bars left on the actual board and one bar on the remote. And this is about the first time I've felt some battery degradation to the motors. Losing a little bit of power, heading up the last little bit of this climb. But then again, I am right at 24 miles. I am so close to being done, but yet so close to completely being dead. back in Torino. I am at 27 miles. The board did get me through uh, that section that went around this mountain right behind me there. So pretty solid. Uh, the board has one bar. It's red. I'll probably going to lose battery power and end up having to Uber or Lyft the rest of the way. Let's see how much further I have to go. But I think it's further than what I've got. Well, 28 and a half miles. The board did turn back on. It had enough power to kind of go a little bit further, but really only enough power for it to move itself and not with me on it. So I have a lift ride coming because it's two miles. Now, I could have made it. The problem was I'm an idiot and I went the wrong direction. Because. I love this, relax, no bad days, love, and you got the candy, and then the tip jar, incredible. 27.5 miles on the Lawrence Major. Now, I was in gear three a lot of the time, which was by accident, but I just happened to hit the button and didn't realize it. So I did eat a lot more battery than anticipated, and I, my plan was to stay in gear two, but that, sadly, was not a reality. Overall, I think a really great result for the Lawrence Major. It's just that I messed up at the end and I didn't go the right way because I don't know directions very well. So I messed it up getting myself home, but overall a great day on the board.